Hey guys, Dave here. Today we're making up all-in-one cheeseburgers. Yes, all-in-one cheeseburgers. Easy to make, incredibly delicious, no fuss, no muss, and everybody will love them. And not to mention, they are budget-friendly. So let me show you how to do this. The first thing we're going to do is add some oil to a pan over medium-high heat. Then add in about a pound or half a kilo of medium ground beef. And we're going to break this up and fry it over medium-high heat for about 5 minutes or so. Now, here's the really good news. It doesn't have to be ground beef. It could be ground pork, ground chicken, whatever you find on sale. Because remember, we are trying to be wallet-friendly and pinch pennies. Okay, our beef is kind of fried up here and there is a lot of grease and a lot of water. So I'm going to go ahead and drain this, but I won't show you. That would be simply too boring. Add in a few chopped onions, and in this case I'm using red, but you can add whatever you like. Followed by three cloves of chopped garlic, because you know me and my garlic. So we'll just stir and saute this for about two or three minutes until that wonderful aroma of garlic fills the air. And everybody in the house says somebody is cooking here. Next up, two tablespoons of ketchup. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that this is my old standby ground beef recipe that I use for basically everything. Okay, this is completely optional, but I am going to throw in a couple of tablespoons of barbecue sauce, any kind you like, just for good measure. Another tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce for my British friends and some flavor. A good pinch of salt, uh, about half a teaspoon. And of course, last but not least, a double good pinch of ground black pepper. Then grab up our cooking device, commonly called a spoon, and stir everything together until that ground beef is completely coated with the seasoning. And my oh my, this smells good already. So thus far in my calculations, and you tell me if I'm wrong, we've got about six bucks or so into this recipe, depending on what you use for meat. Okay, next up we are going to grab up a tube of Pillsbury, yes Pillsbury, and I'm not getting paid for this, Country Biscuits. And you can get these for about three or four bucks in just about any grocery store. Then flour up a surface, doesn't that sound all baker-like? Go ahead and throw our biscuits onto that surface. Dust up the old rolling pin just so it doesn't stick, and we're just going to kind of roll these out until they're, oh I'd say about four or five inches in diameter. The size is really entirely up to you, but you don't want them too thin or too thick. Because they are cheeseburgers, I'm going to take a couple of slices of sliced cheese that I've meticulously cut up and place them into the center. Then, of course, you guessed it, we are going to spoon up some of that mixture and spoon it over top of our cheese and our country biscuits. Not too much, not too little. Now here's the other thing, you could by all means put whatever you like in there too. You could put some pickles, I don't know, caramelized onions, whatever you like. So we're just going to grab up each end and kind of fold it towards the center. Just some tuck and pull type of thing. And don't be too fussy and get too frustrated, you just want to kind of hold it together type of thing. And just pinch it shut, it's kind of like making a chopin or steam bun or something like that. Then we shall just set our all-in-one cheeseburger onto a baking pan lined with some parchment paper and you want that seam side down. Okay guys, here's my cipher and we spent about 10 bucks to make them. We got 10 out of them, which is about a buck each. That's not too bad. Alrighty then, what we're going to do now is take an egg white, you can use the whole egg, but an egg white makes it a teeny bit better. And just kind of beat this up until it becomes uh, kind of frothy. Then just brush that egg white over top of those biscuits and that is going to make it beautifully brown and beautifully shiny when you bake it. Something, you know, beautifully brown and shining like crows like. I don't know. To make everything all fancy and professional, I am just going to sprinkle some sesame seeds over top of my all-in-one cheeseburgers. Now we are going into a 375 degree Fahrenheit, which is about 190 Celsius preheated oven for about 13 to 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, these are done. And don't they look fantastic? Well, at least in my humble opinion, they do. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and crack one of these open and they just pull apart so easily. And just look at this. They're so cheesy. That filling looks absolutely delicious. And those buns are so soft and perfect. Serve these up with some pickles on the side and you will never want takeout again. And you bite into these, believe me, it is just a flavor bonanza. They are soft, that filling is absolutely delicious, the cheesiness. 
that just doesn't get any better, guys. They are a must, must make. And I know I say this in every video, but if you like what you saw, give us a like because it really does help. And if you are so inclined, subscribe.